Oh man, it is double trouble with these two in town. Taking the stage at Auckland's Sky City tonight with Ursula Carlson as part of their nationwide comedy grapevine tour. <gasps> oh, welcome stand-up comedians Nick Rado and Steve Wrigley. Thanks. Welcome to Thanks the show. Everyone. How are you boys feeling this morning? Uh, it's good. It's just to be, you know, great to be out of that Yeti costume. <laughs> um, yeah. Wonderful dance moves. Thanks, mate. It was, uh, it, yeah, it was impressive. I wear a permanent, I've got like a permanent <laughs> semi-Yeti. Yeah, if Nick's hairy. not available, you don't even need the costume anymore. That's right, that's right. I can just kind of take a few layers off and there you go. <laughs> so, very, it looks like I'm wearing a jersey underneath this. <laughs> yeah. Full fur, full time. Yeah. Yeah. You guys just got off stage last night, didn't you? You kicked yeah. off the tour. We actually Fongaray. just got off stage just now. It's Fongaray. They wouldn't let us leave. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We've paid for this. It, Keep going. It's a lock-in. Yeah. Yeah. No, Fongaray was fantastic. Hey, it was really good. Yeah. Um, in the show, we've got obviously Ursula Carlson. Yep, there she as is. Well, so she's going to be uh, very loud and uh, South African and very funny. That's going to be me in there. That's you. We've yeah. also got Steve Wrigley. Who's what if you? Why is your microphone? Why are you wearing your microphone as a tie? What is uh, there? It's a bit of magic there. So <laughs> Steve Wrigley's in this show. He's got PowerPoint, so you can expect technical difficulties. So do you have to shave your beard? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, mean, I like, wanted to do because I've been. I, I wanted to come back and do this tour and I wanted to do something really special so I wanted to make um, my entire show's PowerPoint based. <laughs> yeah. We have hired and gone to great expense to hire a projector into everything. I did a whole PowerPoint presentation about why New Zealand is better than the United States of America. Yeah. I have over a thousand slides <laughs> and all that happened in Whangarei last night was every third or fourth slide no. that crept out. Oh, no. But the thing was, was that was where I got the biggest laughs yeah, from yeah, Kiwi. Yeah, yeah. And I said to the audience, I was like, this is when you know you're performing in New Zealand and not America because the biggest laugh you get is the New Zealanders going, yep, he's He's screwing it up. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's made a mistake. Up. Yeah. Yes, I love it. But I mean, Susie, you've done some stand-up comedy. You last I year have. gave it a go, didn't you? It's the most terrifying thing I've ever done. I made really? myself honestly physically ill really? doing it. It was on my bucket list, and I, I wouldn't do it again. And you I, threw I'm, up in your bucket I would list. Throw, yes, throwing <laughs> up in my bucket. Even I've done live TV, but just going out there, and are people going to laugh or not laugh, or yeah. are you going to well, remember it? All? How do you guys cope with it? You've been doing it for a while now, so I suppose you probably left those nerves behind a long time ago. But what yeah, if I mean, I just. Laugh? I was so good at it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Never had a dead crowd, yeah. eh? Yeah, the no, worst, no. Uh, I guess the yeah, the hardest thing, as you were saying, Suzanne, before, is the hecklers, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, you kind of think, mm, but yeah. I quite like them. You know, people yell, out, you're rubbish. And <laughs> as long as you have, a, like, a comeback, like, now's not a good time to yell out quotes from your sex life. Yeah, uh, hecklers uh, in New know. Zealand are really interesting as well. Like, I always tell the story about this one guy in Hamilton who, like, I, was wearing, I wear tight jeans, and he goes, what are you wearing tight jeans for? Are you gay, mate? But then he went, take them off, which <laughs> I just I found very confusing. <laughs> but yeah. you never oh, get like yeah. people just going like get off the stage yeah, and swearing yeah. at you. They always throw something at you that's that's usable, yeah. that's that usable use. and yeah. it's right. interesting. I would right. just say, don't start with me, mate. I'm menopausal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be enough. Yeah. That would oh, stop a hot them. flash all over yes. you. Yes. And where is Ursula, by the way? She's not with you. Yeah, where is she? Too lazy. She's actually just in my back pocket. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Ursula Coles. <laughs> no, okay. No, she's just uh, she's uh, just like laid down somewhere, and someone's feeding her biltong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, the truth is, is we're here to promote the show and our survey re research data showed that particularly during the World Cup New Zealand has yeah, yeah. found the South African accent just a little too horrible <laughs> yeah and we figured it would be better to just kind of keep her off TV maybe give people the impression that she's British exactly you know and we've also been giving her a hard time as well like the whole run now is just sushi as well uh, just to <laughs> remind her of sushi no I'm not doing any more promos Japanese flashbacks <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly tell me a little bit about the tour so you're heading all over the country it's Ursula's first nationwide tour how is that even possible mm. what the hell Heck, yeah. yeah, I mean, she's obviously she's performed around the country before, and um, her and I we've toured around the country together with shows like Seven Days and stuff. Yeah. But this is her first time, kind of really going on a massive tour and, and doing solo stand up, mm. and it's really exciting. To... I think that's reason enough to go along and see you. Three. Yeah. I think that'd be amazing. Yeah. We're going to play uh, such destinations as um, Palmerston North. Beautiful. Uh, we've just done Whangarei. Yeah, we're going um, to Wellington. We're going Tauranga. to Tauranga. We're yeah. going to Queenstown, Christchurch. Christchurch, because every time we do any show, yeah. we'll be like, hey, we're going around the country doing it. We're, every 50 messages, people from Christchurch, what about Christchurch? You've forgotten about Christchurch. The thing is, is we'll be like, we were in Christchurch last night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just didn't you went to so Christchurch, we're going to be there. Make sure okay. you go. Let's yeah. go, we're going to be in Christchurch. Hey, you guys so are You can't just flick uh... cameras halfway between. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to talk to people down here, I'll and halfway you through, you change to this guy. I'll give yeah. you a chance to redeem yourself in that uh, case. Why don't you guys just take over? Like, I mean, you know, we go can just sit it. here and just read what 
from just there. read off. Like a good morning just type. Take it away. Yeah, you we'll just leave catch, it. Oh, yeah. You, you can go. catch Nick and with the can very funny you? Ursula Carlson on tour over the next TWO <laughs> weeks. Oh, that's the word too. <laughs> that's right. We're heading to another eight venues around the country for session times and details. Just uh, look at the Good Morning website. Isn't that right, Steve? <laughs> yes. And coming up very soon, do you go giddy for a good garden? <laughs> Good morning, in quotation marks. Has a prize that'll tickle your green thumb something silly right after this? That's very poorly written. Advertorial biophysics. <laughs> Coming up for the break. Do you love to look at other... Oh, no, that's your next <laughs> bit. Yeah, that's after, afterwards. No, that's okay. not now. That's Sting, Sting yeah, slash GFX, guys. And that's the new...